All right, Jolie here, seconds out, joined by Tyrone once again. This time it's a, a big week for, for your, obviously, yourself, your commentating tomorrow, is that yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, doing some commentary for the first time. I know I normally do it on live, but actually doing it in real life is going to be a bit different. Yeah, um, this is kind of like a new age of like boxing, but you've got your own platform with the Sunday Smoke thing. Um, it's pretty mad to actually be here right now. Yeah, it's mad. Um, I think the main thing about this is all entertaining. Like, you, you, you watch it for entertaining. You're not going to be watching it to see some skilled boxing fights. Although I reckon there is a couple fights on the card which will display some good boxing skills. But everyone that's watching this is for entertainment purely. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to put you on the spot here because we obviously have hardcore boxing fans that watch the, the content, watch the channel. Why is this new age of YouTube boxing, celebrity influence boxing, why is it a good thing for the sport overall? I think it brings more eyes to the sport. It, it influences more people to get into the sport. And yeah, overall, it, I can't see why it's bad. I can understand sometimes people ain't taking it serious with the camps and, you know, people be having drinks and showing that they don't, you know what I mean? But all in all, it brings more eyes and bringing more eyes to boxing means it can grow it bigger. So, yeah, I think it's good. I feel like in like five years time as well, you'll actually start to see the young people now interested in like traditional boxing, for example, because young people are still young now. They haven't crossed over yet, if that makes sense. Yeah, and it also gives people more life in boxing as well. It shows that you haven't got to do it from a young age, do you know what I mean, to get into it. Whereas you could probably be 30 or have a bit of clout or fame, whatever people want to call it, and get into a fight, do you know what I'm saying? Do you train? Have I what? Yeah, I trained. I've actually had two amateur fights um, about six years ago. And yeah, I mean, in the future, I reckon I'll, I'll jump in the ring again. Once the time's right and the money's right, I'll be definitely doing it. That was my next question. We're going to see you on one of these cards. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Soon, but I feel like I need to raise my profile. I'm not at the level just yet to be doing it. So once I'm at the right level, 100%. And when you say right level, I'm guessing, what are you talking more on an actual amateur pro side or, or is it going to be these influencer ones? It will be something like this, do you know what I'm saying? Like, be brutally honest, it'll be a thing to obviously earn money through, do you know what I mean? So, I just feel at this time right now, it wouldn't be worth it. Okay, so the, the, the fight on this card that originated from Sunday Smoke, just talk us through that. Obviously, the first fight was on there. How long ago now? Pulley versus Tommy. This was about February. It was crazy because they had a little argument on live. It went on for about a day and... This was Friday, so they're beefing on live. And we said, you know what? Should we have a boxing match on Sunday? Both said, yeah, a day's notice, turned up. Ended up having like 80-odd thousand people watching the live at one time, and it was crazy. But the, the fight was incredibly close. So there was a bit of a thing at the end where people saying, oh, I thought Tommy won. However, Pulley did win, but everyone was saying, well, not everyone, but a, a, a huge majority was saying Tommy won. So. This fight now is like the decider in saying actually it's going to be a proper winner. But I also feel like great to know like this is where it's led to. Do you know what I'm saying? It's gone from being on a free live now people to actually paying to watch it. So it's good. It's good for both of them. What happened yesterday at the press conference? There was water thrown. Yeah, it kicked off. I think Pulley's right in Tommy's head. He's really in Tommy's head now and Tommy is biting at everything. And I think that's going to play against him big because at the end of the day, he's got to be a bit cool and calm and he's going to be a lot of people watching him. He's not fought in a lot. He's fought on live with loads of people, but he's not fought around people. Does that make sense? There's going to be 3,000 people there swearing, shouting at you and it's going to bring a whole heap of different pressure. So if he's got a lot of anger in him, it's going to, I think it could give him the fight away. And I know you know Dennis McCann, he's obviously fighting tomorrow. Unfortunately, we can't be there, but um, how do you see his fight going? Is he in a good domestic fight? Dennis McCann wins, man. I'm rooting for Dennis McCann no matter what. Whatever fight he goes against, I'm always choosing Dennis, man. He's a real good guy. Big up to him. And I think everyone needs to follow his journey and get behind him because he's going to be one of the next big things. 100%. One more thing just on the on the major boxing scene, obviously. We've got AJ Usyk, the rematch coming up. AJ's got a new trainer. But do you think AJ can actually beat Usyk the second time around? 100%. I reckon we're going to see the old AJ. The hunger's going to be there and he's going to get a stoppage early. I know people's going to be in the comments, no, oh, you don't know nothing about boxing, but watch this back afterwards. I reckon AJ wins probably within five. Like It seems mad, but I reckon AJ's going to come back and knock him. There's a lot of people that hate AJ, so it, I think it's a fair prediction. But yeah, good to speak to you again. And uh, we'll speak again. Peace. Thank you, thank you.